Amy Chris Amy Kristoff. <sighs> what? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Kiss Me I'm Irish book tag. It was originally created by Erica SOS Books. And I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but today is St. Patrick's Day, so I figured I should do a St. Patrick's Day tag, you know? So without further ado, let us get started. So the first question is green, and you are to show a book with a green cover. And I am going with Splintered by A.G. Howard. I could pick a lot of different books, but this one was right beside me, so I was like, we're going with it. So, there you go. It's, it's pretty green, so it counts. Question two is Blarney. Which I don't even know what that is, but we're going with it. It's a book that deceived you into liking it, or a book that was very overhyped that you didn't end up liking. I'm going to say Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This book was so overhyped, I didn't read it for like two years after the release date. And I liked it, I thought it was really cool, but I only gave it 3.5 stars because I expected so much more because everybody had been giving it like 5 stars and they're like, it's the most amazing book ever! And I think it was just so overhyped for me that I was just kind of like, okay, like it was cool, but it wasn't anything like spectacular. Question 3 is Brogue. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a dialect, so there you go. And it is a character with an accent, and I'm going with Etienne Sinclair from Anna and the French Kiss because he's British. And I just love him so much, and I just wish I had Etienne Sinclair just so I could say Etienne Sinclair because it's so much fun to say. But I loved this book. It's one of my favorite books. It's super cute and fluffy, and you should all read it if you haven't, but you probably have because everybody has. Question four is Leprechaun, a book you enjoyed when you were a little person. And these two books are the two books I say for this kind of question every single time because they're my absolute favorite. And it is Naughty Goes to Toyland. I'm not even going to attempt to say this author's name because I can never say it right. So, um, look it up on Goodreads if you're really that interested. And then I also have The Pixie Tricks by Tracy West, which I loved when I was little. And the best part of it is that it has little things in the back where you could write in the book and put stickers in. And, like, when you're five years old or seven years old or however old you are when you read these books, like... Writing in a book is so much fun, so like, highly recommend. Question number five is Pot of Gold, a book that cost you a lot or is of great value f to you? Most of my books come from the thrift store, so a lot of them are like $2, so I don't really have any that are like super expensive. Except for Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the only book that I've bought full price. And technically, I didn't even buy it full price, my mom did. So therefore... Technically, it cost me nothing, but we're gonna go with it and pretend that I bought it myself. The next question is Four Leaf Clover, and it is supposed to be your favorite series. And I'm going with The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. This should be obvious if you've watched my channel for a while. I love this series so, so much. It's my favorite. Marissa Meyer is my favorite author. She's just so incredible. You knew I was gonna say it. You knew I was, so this comes to no surprise. The next question is magic, and it is a book that you found magical, or a book with a magical element that you enjoyed in the story. And I'm going with The Novice by Taran Matharu. I really liked how they could summon demons. I thought it was so cool. Because, like, who would not want a little sidekick? Like, personally, I would love to have a little dragon friend. So I just thought it was super cool, and this book is real good. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I have a review if you want to check it out. But, like, love this series. Third book's coming out in May. Your girl is so excited. Like, yes. The next question is Kiss, and it is your favorite book pairing. And I'm going to say Cress and Captain Thorn. Although, like, I kind of just want to, like, kick Cress out and just bring me into the picture and, like, pretend that she never existed because Captain Thorn is my little baby angel unicorn. So we're going with that, but, like, pretend that I'm Cress. Okay, thanks. The next question is luck, and it is a book that you will luckily get to someday. And I have a million of these. But the one that, like, people say I need to read the most, other than Harry Potter, which I'm not going to say because that one's obvious, but it's the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but, like, there you go. Eventually it'll happen. Just we don't know when. The final question is Jig, and it is a book that you don't own yet, but if you could get your hands on it, then it would make you dance with happiness, and I'm going to say Something by Shelley Lamb. I talk about it in my most anticipated books for March. It sounds so cool. It's basically like a new adult book in the thriller genre, and like if that doesn't make you want to read it, like I don't know what will, but like I need this book in my life ASAP. Alright guys, so that was the Kiss Me I'm Irish book tag. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. If you're of age, I hope you have a beer and party and it's a great time. If you're not of age, have a milkshake and food color it green. Close enough. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!